Hey everyone, welcome to this new section and to this new lesson on blending modes in Photoshop. The first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open up the blendingmodes.psd project file so that you can follow along. And you'll see a project with a few different layers. We got a vignette, we've got this photo of a seagull, we've got this silhouette photo, we've got a green layer, and then we've got the white background. So we're going to be learning about blending modes in this section based off of these photos. Basically what a blending mode is, is how does the top layer interact with the layers beneath it? You see your blending modes right here, and we've touched upon blending modes in the past uh, when we did the dodge and burn lesson where we used an overlay blending mode. In this lesson, we're just going to talk about normal and dissolve. You can see that when everything's in normal, it's a full 100% transparent image, normal, nothing going on, nothing weird about it. If you just scan through these though really quickly, you'll see a bunch of stuff going on with how this top image blends with the image below. And we're going to go through them in just a second. If we turn on this vignette and we change the blend mode of the vignette from normal to dissolve, you see something funky happening. When you use dissolve, it turns the pixels of this top layer and it blends through the background image in a random way. Some pixels are still black, some show through the background. The default mode though is normal. And so that's what you're gonna be using for most of your layers. But you can also know that you can change the blending mode for not only layers, but also groups. Say we put this vignette and this normal into a group by selecting both and just dragging them into a group. And now if we change, you see that this has this pass through, which is the standard for a group blending mode. But if we change this to something like overlay, something happens to both the entire group. But if we open up the group, each thing is still normal blending mode. And then the last thing I want to tell you in this lesson before we dive into the different blending modes is you see here in these list of blending modes that there are little lines in between and this is to group different types of blending modes we have our darkening we have our lightening we have our contrast blending modes and those are grouped together there's only a few that i typically use but we'll run through most of them and then the last thing is just a quick hotkey or keyboard tr shortcut to run through your blending modes is to press shift on your keyboard and then the plus or minus key on the keyboard which is next to the delete key on a Mac or the backspace key on a PC. You can see as I press shift plus it runs through the different blend modes and this is a good way to kind of see what happens, see which ones you like depending on what one you have selected. In the next lessons, we're going to be walking through the different blend modes and really trying to help you understand what they're doing so you know what to choose for whatever project you're working on.